Why pain anybody? Anybody who asks me. How do you choose to paint somebody? Just because they ask? Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's the only way. So the fact is that they choose you rather than you're choosing them? Ah, uh, yes. But what are you looking for when you make a portrait? Um, oh, well, just, uh, well, actually, I, I try to make try to make people look good. I try to do big, simple, um, simple designs, mostly. Why do you so often repeat the image? Uh, well, I, I always think I don't do the first one good, so I, I try to do it more. You know, I mean, in portraits, uh, that's that's what I did, and then I, I try to do them over, and then after a while, you know, you have more than one. It takes me it takes me more time to do. It. Do you think this tells you more about the person? Well, by doing, you know, by spending more time on it, it's, it's just like a person who spends more time on one picture. I just spend more time doing more than one picture. How do you set about making a picture? What's the process? I got this, uh, Mr. Landon invented this great camera that was called, uh, Polaroid. It was called Polaroid, uh, Big Shot. And, uh, and it just takes, uh, the face of the person. I, I, I haven't learned how to do the body yet. So this, this picture just takes a picture of um, just the face, and it seems to, uh, I don't know, there's something about the camera that makes it, that makes the person look uh, just right. And it, it takes, just it takes their head shots. It's, it's like getting a passport picture. They usually don't always come out great. Do you take more than one picture or only one? No, I take, I take at least 200 or maybe more. And, and then you choose? And then, uh, yeah, then I pick, and sometimes I... I, uh, you know, take a half a picture from one, one picture and another picture and then from another picture. And what do you do when you've got the picture? It, it's usually a colored picture, and I turn it into a black and white, um, photograph. And then from there I, um, turn it into, um, uh, uh, you blow it up to the size. Uh, I, I guess I got stuck to making it all the pictures 40 inches by 40 inches, so I blow up to a 40 by 40. And then? And then um, I have a silk screen made of it, and then I, I put the paint on, and then I paint over it, and uh, try to get the right colors. And sometimes it's hard, but sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's easy. What are the right colors? How do you know which are right? Well, I don't know. After you finish it, you know whether it's right. You never try to make it look like life, do you? Ah, uh, gee, I don't know how. Do you always choose artificial colors, then? Ah, uh, yeah, I use them, mostly artificial colors. I'm trying to find flesh color, and it's, um, I have so many different color flesh colors, but maybe one day I'll get the right flesh color. You once said, I hate to throw the air quotation back at you, that you thought it would be nice to be a machine. Well, I, I still want to be, but, uh, well, I do the same thing every day. I go, you know, go to work and paint. And I try, try to turn out as many pictures as I can. Is the number quite important? Doing a lot of pictures. Oh, that, yeah, the number is really important. I keep reading about this um, Indian guy that turns out like three or four thousand pictures a minute, or maybe it's a day. Would you like to do that many yourself? Oh, well, I keep trying. Yeah, I, I, it takes. I don't know, it, it always seems so easy to read about it, but when you try to do it, it doesn't take, it takes longer. Would you like to see your pictures on as many walls as possible, then? Uh, oh, no, I like them in closets. Why is that? Why is that? Oh, because people collect them and then they put them away, they don't have to put them up in the wall, at least they have them. Well, what are they doing in the closet? They're not being looked at. Uh, well, that's okay. It's enough that they exist, is it? They exist, is it? Oh, mm, I guess so, yeah. Do you see yourself going on doing exactly the same thing now, portraits and more portraits? Uh, well, I hope it goes on. Yeah, I really do. But not merely because of the money, but because the activity gives you pleasure, does it? Uh, oh, yeah, I really, really, well, it, it keeps me working. I really like that. Mm.
And I like to, like I keep saying, I like to doing the same thing over again. Is work a pleasure to you then? Oh yeah, it is. And then painting the same picture is, is really more pleasure. I always want somebody to ask me to do, you know, like 30 or 40 pictures of them. Why is it more of a pleasure to do 30 or 40 pictures than to do just one? Then I can uh, listen to my sound about, which looks just like the things I'm wearing now. And you can, you can listen to opera and stuff like that. Does that mean you don't have to think when you're painting? Well, you, no, you can listen to really good music. So, the, what, painting is an excuse to listen to really good music? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When did you take to opera? When did you take to opera? Oh, I always liked opera. I used to go when I was uh, very young. And now when you, you know, with this great, it's an, I think it's another Sony machine. It's, uh, it's, it's called a walkabout or a walkaman or something like that. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's actually really terrific. And you can, it, you can hear this stereo in your ear and it's, it, it, it's, it's really great. Can you tell me who you've enjoyed painting most of all the people you've painted? I think Liza Minnelli. Uh, why Liza Minnelli in particular? Well, um, because I was able to sort of uh, do, her, uh, do the painting like the way I used to do them years ago, and, and I, I just did it recently, and uh, it um, just had the right look and the right colors. And... Because she was the same sort of person as Jackie Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe, is that it? Yes, I, well... She's a great person. And the kind of person does affect in the end the way the, the pictures look, does it? Uh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Do you believe in feelings and emotions? Well, no, I don't, but uh, I have them. I have them. I wish I, I wish I didn't. Well, you'd like to get rid of them altogether, would you? Uh, it would be a good idea. Why, do you think you'd be happier? But happiness is a feeling too, isn't it? Uh, well, no, just, just, you know, just a feeling of doing the right, you know, just getting by. But do you think that the important thing in life is getting by? Uh, yes, I do. More and more? Uh, yeah. When you look back, um, after all, you were successful before you became an artist. Um, do you ever wish you hadn't become an artist? Uh, well, no, I'm not, well, when I was doing that, I was doing the same thing, so I'm really not doing anything different. Well, when you were doing windows and you were drawing shoes and so on. Well, I, I'm drawing shoes again now, so I don't see it any different. What, you've gone exactly back to what you used to do? Oh, yeah. The same kinds of shoes, or have they changed? No, the same kind of shoes. The same shoes, actually. What well, again, do you remember what they were like then? You're drawing them from memory. Uh, no, no, I, I, I had some. And actually, I went out to get some more in the shoes, and the shoes of shoes designers are designing now are exactly like the shoes that were done in the 50s and um, I, I really can tell the difference the names are different but uh, the, shoe, the shoe style was exactly the same do you think everything comes back like that though? well i i do and the only way you can sort of judge that is when you watch tv every day and you see a, a 20 you know a 20s 30s 40s 50 60 70 and 80 uh, movie or tv or newscast or something like that it, it really hasn't changed at all. What, so time, in fact, stands still. It seems to go by us. I think it does go by us, yeah. Do you mind about getting older then, Andy? Oh, no, I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm old. You, you reckon you're old already, do you? Oh, yes, I will. Yeah. They call me Granny. They call me Granny. They do that, so. What, the interview magazine they call you Granny? Uh, everybody does. Why is that, do you think? Why is that, do you think? Oh, uh, I don't know. They, they, they say I'm old. Do you think it's a sign of affection or not? Oh, uh, no, it's not a sign of affection. They're just mean. They're just mean to you? Yeah. Do you ever feel affectionate about people, or is that against feeling too? Uh, well, no, I like everybody, so... That's affection. What, the, the, the great thing is to feel affectionate towards everybody in the world? Yeah. Do you ever allow yourself to dislike people? Then? No, I try. I really, I really try not to. And why is this? Because it's bad for you, or because it's bad for them? No, I just, I just, uh, well, I don't really try to think about it. I try to think about it. 
if somebody's funny, I, I try to leave. Uh, and, and what do you think is the, is the characteristic of a really nice person? Some people you obviously do like more than others. Um, well, if they talk a lot. Well, if they talk. Well, don't make you talk. Yeah, yes, that's, that's a really nice person. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy.